In today's video, we will be going over how to section a mouse brain using a vibratome. The first step is to remove the cerebellum from the brain. It is important here to ensure your scalpel is set up to create a clean and even cut across the brain, and that the brain itself is not on an angle. These steps will allow for even brain slices to be produced. The next step is to mark the right hemisphere of the brain. This is important because it allows for the distinction between the right and left hemisphere of the brain, which will be important when visualizing the tissue later on. You want to make sure that you're applying just enough pressure to have a small slice, but not enough to cause any damage to any underlying structures. Next, we will glue the brain onto the specimen disc with crazy glue. Apply a generous amount of crazy glue onto the specimen disc and use tweezers to pick up the brain and gently place it onto the glue with the cerebellum cut site facing downwards. This will set up the brain to produce coronal slices. Now that we have the brain fixed onto the disc, we will apply a small amount of egg gross to the back of the brain. This will prevent the brain from being squished as the razor blade passes through it. Here we just melted some egg gross in the microwave and are using a disposable pipette to apply the liquid egg gross to the lower half of the back of the brain. This step will stabilize the brain during cutting and allow for cleaner slices to be produced. Make sure you let the egg gross dry before you move on to the next steps. Now it's time to set up the vibratome. First, we are going to put the specimen disc into the buffer tray, which connects because they're magnetic. Then, insert the buffer tray onto the vibratome stage and make sure it clicks into place. We can in then insert the razor blade. Notice here how the brain is oriented. The egg gross is behind the brain, so when the razor blade moves through the brain, the egg gross will support it. Then fill the buffer tray with PBS and add ice to the stage to keep everything cooled. Remember to keep an eye on the ice levels as you will likely need to replace the ice halfway through cutting. We are almost ready to slice now. We just need to review a few parameters. First look at the speed you're cutting with. A lower speed can prevent any tissue shredding from occurring. Speed can be adjusted with the top knob as so. You can also adjust the amplitude by pressing the amplitude button and moving the same knob. Now let's align the razor blade with the brain. To move the stage up, press and hold the up button. To move the razor blade closer to the brain, press and hold the forward arrow button. This will control how far backward the razor blade will go when the vibratome is cutting. Once you get the distance from the brain that you would like, you can set this as a parameter by pressing the backwards parameter button, like so. This can be repeated for the forward parameter by moving the razor blade past the brain and pressing the forward parameter button. Now we are ready to start slicing and can press the run button. To collect the slices, gently pick them up with a paintbrush. Make sure the paintbrush is clean and does not have too many bristles as the tissue will get stuck to them. As you are collecting the tissue, you will want to store each brain slice in a 96 well plate, one slice per well. Storing slices like this allows for ease when performing various sectionings, for example a 1 in 12 sectioning. Fill up the wells with 0.01% sodium azide with PBS, and this solution will prevent the tissue from molding while stored in the fridge. Pay attention here to how the plate is being filled with the brain slices. Start in row A, column 1, and make your way across the plate. Once you reach the end of row A, go down to row B and start again in column 1. Once the plates are full and your brain is done being sliced, cover the 96 well plate with parafilm and then place the lid over top. You may also want to tape down the sides of the lid. Also ensure that your plate has a proper label on it outlining the parameters of your slicing and then the plate and slices can be stored in the fridge for future use.